so what is going on guys um today i'm back for another video and sorry i haven't uploaded in a while um this is like a, a, a regular this is a regular thing to say now i i just yeah sorry i just don't post often but today i have an exciting video for you guys today so today i'm going to show you how to extract the password for the btd battles uh, for the for the data.jet file now, yes, this tool is intended for modding purposes. However, I do not condone modding. And if your account ends up getting banned, I do not take responsibility. Um, just use that at your own risk. So I just want to put that out of the way. But if you look at my channel, I already made a video like this. And yes, that was my program. This one, I, I remade another program. I rewrote it from scratch. So now it's written entirely in C Sharp and it's way faster. It, it like cracks the password like within literally five to seven seconds every time. Um, if you have like a lower spec computer, I did try it on like um, on my i3 processor laptop. It, it took around like 14, 15 seconds, but still that's under 30 seconds, like no matter what. But without further ado, I know I keep talking, but let's let's go right into it. So what you wanna do is, um, so it is on GitHub. Um, the link will be in the description, but it's called Crack Monkey. I, I don't know if YouTube is gonna demonetize it or not, but um, this is Crack Monkey Remastered, uh, as you can see right here or cmr i like to call it cmr crack monkey remastered it literally cracks the monkey like the password whatever you, like you get it you get it so it is open source which is very cool you can literally just look at like the source code right here if you wanted to it's only like 295 lines of code i also have like another form over here oh what what happened to my internet what okay that was weird but okay so without further ado let's actually go ahead and, and install it so if you look on your right here on the releases tab and um, you just click on releases. There's version 1.0, but you obviously want the latest one, 1.1. So there's three different kinds right here. Um, I honestly prefer the setup because it installs it to your regular like um, program files directory uh, on your Windows hard drive. See the only, the executable is only like 27 megabytes. Now there are portable versions if you don't actually want to use the installer. But this one, the, the .7z, it is only 23 megabytes, but you do need 7-zip to open the file. If you just use like any normal zip file viewer, even the default Windows zip viewer, um, this is a bit bigger at 62. But the original files for everything is like 140. So this is definitely like a little less than half of the size. So that's good. So I'm just gonna use the setup version right here. Um, just go ahead and install that. And it'll be right here. You just open it. And there's some information over here. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is for running purposes. If your account gets banned, I do not take responsibility. Install. And next and finish. And to open it, there is a shortcut on your desktop. This is required. You have to open it from the desk, uh, from the shortcut because this launches it as an administrator. This is very important. If you don't, th the game will not crack correctly. So now they installed it, go ahead and open it. And you'll see status checking, not writing. So you have to run the game. So here's the cool part. This works for both the Windows Store version, like the, the Balloons BTD Battle, download it from here, the Microsoft Store, or the one from Steam. I'm gonna show you both. So just go ahead and open up the Steam version. Right now, as soon as you open it, it will say running. Don't click start yet. Wait for this. Like as soon as you hear the slash, the ting thing. Well, I, I, this is so bad, dude. But I suck at sound effects. But as soon as it does that sound, um, now you can just go ahead and click start. So just wait for it. Wait. See, literally like five seconds, and and that's literally it. And the coolest part about it. So so far right now, it is saved to your clipboard. So it's right here, right? But if you click OK. It restarts the program and it actually saves. It saves your uh, password. So if say if you exit and you open up um, Crack Monkey again, it will open up this one now. See, it will say, would you like to crack the password again? Warning, this will delete your currently saved password. So yes, this saves the password, which you can copy again to your clipboard. And there's also the game version and it tells if it's from Steam or not. If you click yes, it will it will delete your saved password. So if you close and open up Crack Monkey again, see, it, it's not saved anymore. Let me exit out of this. You don't have to restart the program, by the way. It, it already like detects everything. Now let me open up the Windows Store version and wait for the slash. Okay, now you can go ahead and click start and just wait for that. And then there you go. There's your password. Literally that easy. And it tells you if it's a Windows Store version or Steam, like I said. And you can just do this like literally just back and forth. Oh, wrong one. See, look, if you do it too fast, like, let me show you, let me show you. If you just click start now, okay, it did end up working. It did end up working, but sometimes like 
it, it tries to crack the password when the game is not fully run, so you'll get like a random, like blank password that doesn't even work. Just make sure you wait for like the slash thing on the logo. Other than that, that's that's li literally it. I, I mean, uh, I, I just want to show you guys right here. If I download like the actual like portable, like I said, you do need 7-zip, but let me just create a new folder here. I spelled it wrong. I don't care. Um, but look, let me let me put let me put it here. Right, it extracts whatever. Like, see, it's 120. It's 128 megabytes. My bad. So this brings it down to 23. So you see, like 100 megabytes, which is insane. This works literally the same way. You just open it, wait for that, you click start, and it's literally the, the, the same exact thing. Now, let's try something crazy. What if we open up both the portable and the installation? Oh, one will default to Steam. Yeah, that, that's correct, that's correct. Let's try cracking both at the same time, but what will happen actually? Now I'm curious. Wait, it worked. It worked! You can have two if you really want. You can have two if you really want. So this... If you have both running, my program, I've set it to where it actually defaults to the Steam version because that's the most common one. But theoretically, if I default it to the Windows, I mean, honestly, you, you can have both of these running at the same time. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's literally it. That is the updated version of how to use my program. Um, if you guys want me to make another video on like the quick rundown of the code and like how everything works, because it is kind of complicated, um, I'll be more than happy to do so. But other than that, that's, that's literally it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and leave a comment below and subscribe. Peace out.